check, 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 test, test, test. All right, to those watching the video on demand later or watching live elsewhere other than YouTube, I am just testing my broadcast signal right now. I am privately live on YouTube. I want to make sure that my signal is strong before I send it public to avoid any uh, typical mishaps, which usually happen during my broadcasts for some reason. But it's all looking good. I've got a solid green light. And I have for the past several seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and risk it. Let's make it public. And there it is, it's public. Let's give uh, the chat a, a bit for them to file in. In the meantime, I'm gonna get um, the chat up and running for Twitch and Facebook and, uh, what's it called? Kick. There we go. Looking good. All right, the chats are up. I'm going to wait for people to file in, and then we'll start the Monday broadcast. Oh, and here they all come. Good to see everybody. Uh, happy Monday, everyone. Happy Monday. Sorry for the late broadcast. Uh, and sorry for missing my broadcast on Thursday. Sophia Jenkins on Kick says, howdy, howdy. How's your day going? It's going all right. It's been a complicated day, but here I am, healthy and happy. Little Arm on Twitch says, hello. Hello there, Little Arm. John Morgan on Twitch says, howdy, Ox. Hey there, John Morgan. So good to see you. Stan518 says, new Metro game is coming out this year in VR only, I think. A new Metro game. Wow, that's amazing. But in VR only? Oh, no. I've had bad experiences with VR games, uh, trying to stream them, that is to say. I mean, I, I live streamed Fallout 4, the entirety of Fallout 4 VR, many years ago, and that was a lot of fun. But when I tried to do it for Half-Life Alex, boy, we crashed and burned, didn't we? So, yeah, I think I should probably steer clear of VR games for the time being. But wouldn't that be fun? I mean, I love the Metro series. I live streamed every single Metro game. Rena Joseph on Kick Kick says, hello, what's up? Hey there, Rena Joseph. How you doing? I'm doing very well. How long have you been streaming, says Sophia Jenkins. Uh, depends on how you mean. Today, about two minutes. In my life, about 15 years. I've been stream. Well, actually, no, I take that back. I started streaming in like 20, 2010. So 13 or 14 years and I've been streaming. I've been streaming since before Twitch, since before it was called streaming. Uh, I was, I started streaming on Ustream.tv and then I think I switched to Livestream.com and then I switched to Justin TV and then Justin became Twitch and then I streamed on Twitch and then I moved to YouTube when YouTube streaming came out because Twitch didn't allow me to broadcast to multiple places at the time. They've since changed their policy and so now I'm back on Twitch. I've been doing this for a very long time. And now that Kick is a platform, I decided to go ahead and try Kick. Zarteth says, oh cool, Ox is on Kick now. Noise. Zarteth, it's good to see a familiar face on Kick. What are you doing on Kick instead of uh, YouTube or, or Twitch? It doesn't matter to me where you watch me. I'm cool no matter what. Right. I don't mean to ignore you, YouTube. The chat is coming in. Uh, good to see everyone on YouTube today. All of the regulars, the members, and the Patreon supporters. Paul Paulington, Alt Grendel, Fishkey, Naka Michael, Wade Speakerman, Brendan Beltfed, Evan Johnson, Just Rice, Jersey, Slatty Bartvast, 
Julian Z. Austin Prindable, and it's Julian Z. with the first super chat of the day. Say, hi, Ox. Good to see you. What P What is the PC situation today? Great question. So my, uh, I got the card. I got the 4090, and I put it into that machine. It's sitting right there. You can see the wires hanging down from it and everything. And then I went ahead and put the 4070 into this machine. I tested out Cyberpunk 2077, and it's working fine. So the reason we are playing Cyberpunk today is because I installed the 4070 into this machine, and I can actually handle it now. So hopefully we'll be able to have better performance during the broadcast today than we have playing uh, some of the other games that we've attempted to previously. So we're going to try Cyberpunk, uh, but the thing is, my CPU still has not arrived. And uh, I, I'm full of regret uh, uh, of my poor decision making because it's almost been two weeks now that I haven't been able to, to play on this machine due to this hiccup. But uh, I chose at the time, instead of rapidly rebuilding my machine with readily available hardware, I wanted to salvage as much of this machine as I could by only replacing the problem components, i.e. the cooler, the CPU, and the GPU. Uh, but because the motherboard is antiquated by today's standards, it has a CPU slot that only fits a few select types of CPUs, all of which have, are no longer manufactured, which means I had to dip deep into my pocket to find a CPU that's no longer in production. It's still a powerful CPU. It's still an i9. It's going to do everything we need it to do, but I had to go to the far uh, reaches of the planet to find it, and it has taken its good sweet time getting here. It's already been delayed once. It was supposed to be here last week, but uh, they said that they're not going to get it to me until Wednesday, and then they sent me another email saying, hey, good news, it's going to arrive a day early, so potentially I'll get it by tomorrow, but of course that's not enough time. Uh, for us to have our live stream today. So for today, we're going to try playing Cyberpunk on this computer, and I think we're going to be doing all right. Sophia Jenkins says, are you there on kick? I am here, but I'm talking. Like, there's there's a lot of people. I'm, I'm, I'm juggling many different chats. I would love to give you uh, my undivided attention, but sadly, there is only one of me and many, many of you. So I'm trying to juggle. I am juggling the chat. Um, wish me luck that I'm able to do it appropriately. Arthur Morgan on YouTube says, How long have you been playing Fallout? Many, many years. I started playing Fallout 3 back when it first came out in 2008. That was my introduction to the Fallout series. I sadly skipped Fallout 1 and Fallout 2 at the time. I missed them. Uh, but uh, when Fallout 4 came out, I dove in again, and I played through everything. Everything except for Fallout Brotherhood of Steel, which was a PlayStation 1 game, I believe, and was uh, quickly swept under the rug by Bethesda when they acquired the rights to the Fallout franchise. Maybe someday I'll try playing that game, but I doubt it. Laura Elstad says, Yay, wasn't sure you'd make it, Ox. Well, thank you, Laura. Here I am. It's been a complicated uh, several couple of days. Um... Yeah, I had to cancel my Thursday live stream due to a, a scheduling conflict, and that scheduling conflict is having long reaching ramifications that are interfering with my broadcasts even until this week and may even go into the week beyond. But for now, I'm okay. I'm live, and we are ready to dive back in to the world of Cyberpunk. And there we go. Starting to get some Facebook uh, Facebook chatter. Jared says, please play Warhammer 40k Bolt Gun. It's like Doom, but you're a space marine killing chaos demons and heretics for the Emperor. You know what? There is something intriguing about the Warhammer 40k universe that I think I would really enjoy. When I was a kid, I never actually played Warhammer 40k, but many of my friends did, and they would oftentimes try to offload their figurines because they knew that I enjoyed building models and uh, painting figurines. That, that was one of my hobbies as a kid. So even though I never played it, I had a ton of 40 Hammer, did I say 40 Hammer? Warhammer 40K figurines. And I just liked sitting in my garage, painting them with my little air gun. And it was a lot of fun. So uh, yeah, I think I'd really enjoy the 40K universe, but I've never played a 40K game. 
Sasha Turnanjan uh, says, Will you make Brotherhood of Steel questline in Fallout 4 after you finish the railroad? Absolutely. That's the plan. I realize that this is an extended uh, production cycle. I started the full story of Fallout 4. Was it last year or the year before? It was right after I completed my series on... Um, I don't even remember. I did the series on Fallout 3 Metro, and then I think I did Steel Rain and Steel Dawn, and then I went into the full story of Fallout 4, and I have been chugging along at a steady pace ever since then. But listen, listen to what we've covered. We finished the first three acts or two acts of the game. We finished the entire Institute story. We're about to finish the entire Railroad story. We're making progress. We have the Brotherhood and the Minutemen left. So we're well over halfway done, and the Railroad story is going to be wrapping up soon. We've got a couple big finale videos to do. If you missed it, over the weekend, I published a video on how the Railroad destroys the Brotherhood of Steel. And I highly encourage that you watch it, even if you've already done a Railroad road playthrough. Because I uncovered some stuff during the production of that video that I didn't even know you could do, having sided with the Railroad previously. I, I discovered things and dialogue that I didn't know existed because I made mistakes and I didn't even realize they were mistakes at the time during my very first playthrough. So lots of wonderful dialogue. It's over 40 minutes long. You're going to see something that you never knew. I promise you. Okay, where was I? Weird Beard says, has it really been five years already? Good afternoon, Ox. Weird Beard is, has been a member for 60 months. That's amazing, Weird Beard. Thank you so much, Weird Beard. Afternoon to you, too. Man of Warb says, a boy comes home and tells his mother, look, I won third prize. The mother responds, were you riding a donkey? Why didn't you win second place? The boy tries harder in the next competition and wins second prize. The mother once again scolds him. Were you riding a donkey? Why didn't you win first prize? And so next time, the boy wins first prize. The mother grumbles, donkey, won first prize. So no, I'll never hear the end of it. I don't get it. I don't get it, I'm sorry. I read it out loud. I heard it with my ears, and I don't get it. Donkey, one first prize. Is it the intonation? Did I mess up the intonation? Well, my bad. I'm not exactly sure. Jeff Day says, I got my plush a few days ago, and we're going to enjoy the stream. Thank you very much, Jeff Day. I got mine a few days ago as well. Uh, I purchased uh, I'm, uh, from my shop as well for my kids because my kids each wanted one and they arrived and I, I handed them to the kids and my son was like, oh, cool, cool, cool. My daughter, she has been hugging it every single night. She puts it in her doorway at night to protect her so that no monsters can come like uh, ghosts in the night or anything. Uh, she cuddles with it while she's on her iPad. She loves it. She, <laughs> she absolutely loves it. So, uh, by the way, I'm, I've sold o almost over half of them. So if you want to get your hands on a plushie before I'm completely sold out, and when I am sold out, they're gone, unless I do another production run, which is money out of my pocket, so it probably won't happen for some time. When they're sold out, they're gone, so if you want to get yours before they're gone, snag it now. One White Wolf says, to recap from the last cyberpunk broadcast, you're going to an abandoned diner to contact a sleeper agent by using an antique. Yes, I do recall, and I recall exactly when I crashed and burned, thanks to my uh, my rickety computer here. I'll probably have to do that jump again. I believe I had just done a jump to get across. I'm trying to get into a building that I otherwise can't get into, and then we followed some cords to find this lattice that we climbed up. Yeah, yeah, I gotta do that all again, I bet you. Lev Artation says, hey, Ox, have you had time to check your mail? I got the notification, but I haven't had time to check my my uh, my mail. 
Now, uh, that said, I typically show off new props during my show, my Thursday show, Scotch and Smoke Rings. So, the reason Levartation brought this up is because Levartation has been working on some amazing Starfield props for me. Uh, and I'm really excited about them, and I can't wait to show them off. But I typically do that during my show on Thursday. So if you want to tune in to see a bunch of really cool new Starfield props, I've also got some new Fallout props to show off. Tune in Thursday, and, I, and, you, and I, you won't be disappointed, I promise. Okay, I'm having some problems with my YouTube chat. It's not, um... It's not updating correctly, so I'm gonna pop it out and see if that gives me a better experience. One second. There we go. Uh, Uncle Matt too says, "Hi Ox, what are you smoking today? Today I'm smoking an Inferno. No. Today I'm smoking an Iron Horse. Iron Horse. Hencho a mano San Latano cigars. I've only got a few left. It's all right. It's a good middle shelf cigar." Man of Warp says the joke was that the mother was never satisfied. Yeah, I get that the mother was never satisfied. But uh, I don't understand her 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 final phrase, donkey. Like why would she why would she say donkey? She was calling her son a donkey. She was upset that he won first place because she was no longer able to complain about him not winning first place. Is that the joke? Okay. All right, all right. I think I got it. I think I got it now. Thank you, man of war. Robert Down says glad to see you back, Ox. Any chance on doing? Horizon Forbidden West. Yeah. Gotta make a note to myself. Because I wanna make sure I'm there when it's out. Ooh. March 21st. March 21st. Okay, so when it comes out, I'll definitely want to tackle that one, but it's not available on Steam until March 21st. So we've got some time. That gives, a ch uh, gives us a chance to finish Project Liberty. Uh, gives us a chance to, well, advance further into Baldur's Gate 3. Will we ever finish it? I don't know at this point. <laughs> but to advance further into Baldur's Gate 3. But yeah, uh, we'll, who knows? Maybe we'll finish Project Liberty or Phantom, Phantom Liberty, right? by the time March comes around so that we can dive into Forbidden West. Alt Grendel says, Hey Ox, will you ever post pictures of the PC damage on Twitter? Uh, I don't know about the PC damage. It's, so it's not like, th there weren't char marks and explosions and all of that. Basically the pipes leaked and there was water all over my desk and I had to clean up all the water but the pipes didn't look like they shattered or anything. They had just come loose and leaked fluid everywhere. So there was nothing to show off. Basically, I just ripped out all the pipes and threw them in a box. I, what I can do is I can, uh, I can make a video or take some photos of the computer once it's done and then compare them with how it looked before if I can find any. That's, that's what I'll try to do. Okay, let's try and get into the game now. Let's see if this works. Yeah. Okay, let's get the chats up. There we go, Taylor Noir on Twitch says, Hi Ox, hi there Taylor. Juan Chito Gamers on tw uh, Twitch says, Hi, hey there Juanito. Risky Mage on Twitch says, There's no news when it comes out and it didn't say it was VR. Oh, 
He's responding to Stan about um, Metro Exodus, I see. Uh, not Metro Exodus, but Metro, the, the next Metro game. Now, I downloaded my save from the cloud, and so it'll be interesting to see exactly where this game saved last, considering, uh, well, the last time we played this game, my other computer crashed, so it probably botched that file save. Looks like it's here. Let's pick up where we left off. Attention all Dark Town residents. This is Kirk Hansen. An unmarked aircraft has crashed in our district. The crash site is now a restricted area. My people will proceed to secure it. The rest of you will go home and stay there. That is, unless you want to catch a stray bullet. <clears throat> so I'm a state of emergency in Dogtown until further notice. More news to come as the situation develops. So this this all right all right that's all right not hey, too you bad. Check out Ronald's okay, uh, so I need to try and get this to work a little bit more smoothly. Let me see what I can turn off on my computer without botching the broadcast, and uh, I'm gonna do a good old-fashioned Control Alt Delete for that. All right, looks like the bottleneck is my CPU, not the GPU. The GPU is doing fine, but according to the task manager, my CPU is working at 100% here, and this is why I have the the gaming rig separate from the broadcasting rig to begin with, but needs must, needs must. All right, well, OBS is taking up 40% of my CPU, and the game is taking up 60%. That's a bad combination. All right, well, we'll do what we can. <laughs> We'll do what we can. Okay, enter Capitan Caliente. Hey, yay, we don't have to do the uh, the jump. In Certified resale. Deuteronomy says lower the resolution to HD if you haven't already. That's a good idea. Uh, let's go to video. I mean, we're at uh, 1920, 1080. I'm hesitant to go work to uh, to go lower than that. If it gets really bad, we can experiment. Get your fresh clip shards here. Capitan Caliente. Guy clearly went down with this place. Stash house by the looks of it. Right. Let's see what's here. Truth hidden in plain sight. I believe we were reading this when we crashed. Dot, dot, dot. We're like animals that have enough self-awareness to realize they're living on a farm. Their freedom limited, their death inevitable. Yet believing they understand the inner machinations of their small, isolated world. Imperfect, but familiar. The truth, as always, eludes us. Those in control try desperately to hide the fact that the truth cannot be found within the confines of the farm. But beyond it below it. This dangerous, grim truth. The ones who watch us, control us, rule over us, steer us into our pens so cunningly, we are not even aware of it. They offer scandals and outrageous conspiracy theories to excite us, mislead us, and deceive us into believing that we are capable of peeking behind the curtain. They do this to inflate our egos and make us feel smart. This is no better illusion than overconfidence. They've conditioned us to look only where and when they want us to. The true nightmares, these can only be found on the periphery of our perception. Whole universes are being created in cyberspace, designed by powerful AIs at the behest of their corporate overlords. But what is their goal? Who or what is their target? What role does the Black Wall play in all of this? 
this digital metaphorical wall of legend erected to shield us homo sapiens from the threat of wild AIs? How do we know it even still exists? How do we know if Militech, Arasaka, or Night Corp haven't breached it to contact the other side? What if these mysterious beings born in the net have begun to make their way into our world? What if they're here already? Some might argue that a farm animal shouldn't care who it, their master is, so long as they're provided for with food and water. To those, I offer a warning worthy of the times we live in. Maybe the time has come to bite the hand that feeds. <clears throat> that could be read to a conspiracy theorist today. I think they need to hear that. Okay, well, we've got another holotape over here. Let's check this out. Roach Race, a quick review. A quick review. I consider myself a real gamer, and I gotta admit, Roach Race was one of the titles I've been looking forward to all year. Nostalgia can be a biatch sometimes, but the devs really delivered on this one. It's an arcade game comparable to the great classics. Gameplay is fairly balanced, and I've sank countless hours into the game already. Devs really took Bushnell's Law to heart as the game is easy to get into, but even the hardcore player's metal will be tested while being quite simple in its nature. I couldn't be more excited about pro tournaments and seeing the scoreboards of players from all over the world. Sometimes it just feels like you can't beat simplicity in its beautiful arcade form. Okay, what else have we got here? Ah, that's right. There's a computer. Save my life. Read carefully. Okay, these are the spam emails that we uh, learned about. Pay or your head will explode. Okay, chat is saying that it's unwatchable. Right. Uh, okay. Let me try and fix something here. If the choppiness is too much for you, I'm going to... I'm going to change something here. Okay, performance on high. It's so choppy, says chat. All right, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. All right, I've already got everything turned off on the graphics. It's a set to low, off, off, low, low. So I think the biggest bang for our buck is going to be if I change the resolution. Okay, <clears throat> that might be better. Now let me see. Yeah, gonna have to change this. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll try that. I can't. Okay, all right, uh, on my end, that's looking a lot better. I mean, it's really small in the middle of my screen. But on my end, it's... Okay, on your end, is it still too choppy? On my end, it's pretty smooth. All right, I'm watching the replay, and, uh, yeah... Uh, it's pretty choppy, so I guess I'm confused as to why we were we were able to play Baldur's Gate, but not this. Uh, give me a second here. Let me see if I can change the priority for the broadcast. 
If I can make that real time. One second, I'm just going through my list here. The, the problem is that it's uh, my CPU is just completely choked. My GPU is doing just fine, but I can't resource values. Pyro says, still choppy. Time to close up to 500 tabs. See, the thing is, I already did that. I already closed all my tabs. And I'm taking a look at the task manager, and there are only two bottlenecks here. The game itself, which is using about 40%, and, uh, and OBS Studio, which itself is also using about 40%. All right, well, that doesn't seem to be working. Okay, I'm going to put the priority onto high for OBS. And for the game, let's put the priority on low. See if that changes anything. Get your fresh clip shards here! Get your fresh clip shards here! Is that watchable? I mean, that's better. As long as it's watchable, I, I can continue. All right, back to the computer. Get your fresh clip here. All right, where, where were we? Uh, pay or your head will explode. Hey, Shum, today's your unlucky day. Okay, I think we actually got Get into this. You're probably wondering who I am. I'm a voodoo boy. Probably heard of us. Remember last time you hit the net? Yeah, me too. I hack your coprocessor and install a little surprise for you. Now you do what I say or your head goes boom. I think a thousand dollars is fair pay to keep your head. If you pay, I uninstall my surprise. If not, I blow up your head. But blow up the head of the person you love the mo most first. And if you tell the NCPD, I blow up your head twice. You have two days to pay, and I know you read this because I install spy cams in your optics. We read it together. This is not a negotiation, Chum, so do not reply. Just pay and you will live. That seems like spam as well. Okay, what do we need here? Mega Medicine Lottery. I need your help. You're a winner. Wow. Okay, feeling alone tonight. Hey, got a problem. Implants for cheap. I don't think any of these messages are what we need. Let's go to the local local network. We've got a surveillance system, connected devices, remote takeover. Oh, that's me. Okay, well, uh, scan the area to find the old telephone. Get your fresh clip here. <sighs> 
Oh, uh, that's the surveillance camera. And then there's that. Ah, everyone's favorite minigame. All right, 5v9, five, 5-5. Five, five. One C. Oh, that's not it. Phone cables. Oh, interesting. There we go. Well, well, well. Look at that. Huh. What's this? And Antiques. there it is. Junkie variety. I wonder if it even works. Ranker1138 says, for your information, Doki Doki Literature Club is free on Epic until Thursday. Also, I suggest a power supply upgrade. Your issue partially felt PSU related. Uh, listen, my my PSU is a hundred watts. Like it's, or, I'm sorry, it's a thousand watts. I, it, it's clearly enough. Like I didn't update my P, my power supply on my editing rig when I put in the. 4070 and it's only 650 watts watts and it still was overkill for what I needed to do a combination of an i9 and a 4090 only consumes around 800 or so watts and I've got a thousand watt power supply <clears throat> so it's not the power supply I mean maybe the power supply is buggy or glitchy or something uh, that's certainly I mean maybe it got fried and I'll try diagnosing that once I I'm absolutely sure that the CPU is not at fault. Okay, call the number 0931. I love how Keanu had to show him how to use it. <laughs> oh, come on. Answer. He's like, put it to your I'll ear. I'll have a double cheeseburger while you're at it. Reed? Listen. Got no time to play games. Hello? Fossil's probably busted. Or you flunked the number. What the fuck do we do now? Call me V. Andrew Jackson, basketball court. Daytime. Noted. Not exactly loquacious, our man of mystery. Could just prefer text. Damn sure I do. Now that's the voice I recognize. Go to the basketball court. All right, can do. is in Dogtown. Certified resale. Taking it slow. Don't want this to crash my computer. Thing is, we only got to suffer through this today. If my CPU gets here tomorrow like they say it should, and if the CPU is really the problem, then we'll be back with my beautiful gaming rig. 
this time next week. All right, how far am I running here? Hold on. Is it on the opposite side of town? Uh, kinda. There's a tarot card along the way. Don't wanna miss that. Oh, hold on. There we go. Luxor Heights Park. Ooh, these poor... What is... Is he playing airplane with soda cans? Everything sucks. <laughs> Everything sucks indeed, this poor kid. Oh, vroom vroom, kid. Vroom vroom. Meow. <laughs> Soda can. Meow. Oh. Is that a model or a real artillery system? Wow. Oh. Left over from some big war, I guess. Holy cow. Wow, could these still work or? I mean, they look all rusted and old and they're not attached to anything. Hey, there's the tarot card. Isn't it? No, is that just graffiti? Oh, I'm not there yet. Okay, I must just be gra graffiti. I thought it was the, the tarot card. His elbow has a hitch. This dude needs an upgrade. King of Wands. Which... I wish they would label it. Here we go. King of Wands. The master of planning and unorthodox ideas. An individual who brings people together and radiates inspiration to those they consider friends. However, their enemies will soon find they are an impulsive, devastating force of nature. Capable of breaking oaths and crossing any line just to see their goals achieved. Think it'll hitch today? Oh, not a doubt in my mind it'll hitch. First time in the area. It always so calm around here. Calm? <laughs> Guess you chose the right day, Holmes. Thieves are usually packing iron and ready to jump. But watch yourself after dark, yeah? Your faces attract attention. The bad kind. Feel me? I feel ya, Holmes. With the right guns and stalled man, I prefer duck ain't even hard. Game needs some damn rule changes. I want to take in the sights before I sit down. Dunno, man. The fuck Hanson got against a plane? Had a bad day and wham, shoot that shit down? Never know with that mofo. Remember them badges he strung up the last time he was pissed? Who? Oh, them plainclothes pigs. Good call if you're asking me. Right. So, must have had a reason to shoot down the prayers too. Meaning, if he did. So what do you think crawled up Hanson's ass? Off in the press is no joke. Nah, it's no joke, June. 
It's justice for the past. Like you know anything about it. Weren't here, were you? Seven years ago? When the bitch started dropping bombs? No? Fuck you. Justice for the past. She dropped bombs on Dogtown? I wonder if we'll be able to ask her about that. Where were you when it crashed? On the net. Traffic blew up like crazy. Almost made my ice bath boil. What's the word? Was it really the NUSA? I don't know. It was chaos on that chumba. Yeah, yeah. As crazy as it is out here. All right, let's sit and wait. A piece of the plane smashed into our kitchen. You believe that? What? Everybody okay? Better. My input loves it. He always said we could use another window. Ha 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 not the way he intended. Best seats in the house. Gonna be a game to remember. Johnny Silverhand. Basketball fan? That's new. You know what I mean. Another game started. One where your head's the fucking ball. Felt the same thing. Something nasty's brewing. Fucking storms, what's brewing? Don't let the sunshine fool you. You're up against seasoned players, whereas you just stumbled onto the court. These are trained sociopaths. Pretend to be your friends while they fucking ain't. So go out and play. Just don't get played. Just come out and say it. You don't trust Myers. No, her type is all. Politicians? Worse. Armed forces. Saying no to high-ranking cunts like putting your mouth over the barrel of their gun. Get shitty fast if you try to run. Take it from a deserter. Interesting. I didn't know he was a deserter. What? Don't believe me? Never told me about that. Nothing to be proud of. <gasps> Tore out that chapter. Crumpled it, swallowed it. Our sitch hairballed it back up. One thing I did learn, caked in blood and mud. What was that? After every carrot comes the stick. Allow me to illustrate. Every grunt gets a rifle, flak jacket, and a bunch of promises. Comes a time you're out of ammo, Kevlar's tattered cardboard. And what's left of the promises? Fuck all, I'm guessing. Exactly. And that's when they reach for the stick they call values. <laughs> Getting shelled in your dugout, tombs are taking refreshing phosphorus showers, and some officers ranting about loyalty and duty. The moment you stop shitting carrots and they wave the value stick, <laughs> fucking run, rabbit. Run. Sounds like you got some shit to work through. Gotta face your demons sometimes, Johnny. Didn't actually have a problem with them. Till now. Politicians, military runners, intelligence operatives, Colonel Hansen for dessert. All the rotten fish in one fucking barrel in this dog town. Don't turn around. Eyes on the court. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> Hansen, what you holding? Um. Got this token. Mean anything to you? Yes. But I need to make sure. Keeps his cards close, this one. Who sent you? Rosalind. I don't know any Rosalind. And neither do you. Got a pro spy here, V. Is she safe? Hard to say. The longer we sit here. That's it. Dribble around. Were you followed? Did you even bother to check? 
Dunno. Wasn't looking for a tail. Well, you get one point for being candid. Atta boy. Black Thornton Merrimack, in the street. Three minutes, front seat. We better leave separately. Don't want anyone to get suspicious. You first. Don't want to be caught holding hands? Reed. He's already gone. Slippery motherfucker. I think we really hit it off. Sure. Betty's got candy in that van. Ready to find out? Okay, level 44. We got some stuff here. Well, shoot. Go to the Black Thornton. Yeah, I know I'm supposed to go to the Red Smoke, but the last time I went to the Red Smoke, it was a huge firefight. And I want to try to avoid that as much as possible when I'm running on this rig. rig. I wonder if I can mark it. Can I, uh... No, that's track away point. No. Deuteronomy says red smoke is radiant. It's mostly for loot. Yeah. Let's see what happens if we get closer. <laughs> Goddamn sand. It gets everywhere. Sand in my nose, sand in my mouth, <laughs> sand in my ass, man. Wanna steer clear of those guys. It's really hard playing this game in such a small resolution. <laughs> you should see my monitor. It's a tiny rectangle in the middle of my monitor. I don't see anyone. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I just don't want to deal with this right now. Let's follow with the story. And we'll worry about loot back when I'm on my other PC. Anna says the red smoke is radiant but contains iconic weapons and quick hacks too. Also capacity shards and will be gone after leaving a certain distance. Oh man. You mean I gotta get it now or never? Really? Uh. Quick save. Slow reload! Weapon glitch, really? How do I find him? Where is he? Yes, a lot of guys!
We'll find you and we'll chop you. Okay. Tell me that's it. Alright, I want to ignore blue stuff and just stick with the uh, the legendary gear, right? So I'm not going to open all that. Alright, here's the big red smoke. What do we get? Uh, this one's not too bad. 7A, B, D, E9. Uh, 7D, B, D, E9. And then we got another B, D. But not up there. There it is. Immovable force. Oh, yeah. Carry capacity. <laughs> I gotta drop some stuff. Let's see, what's this? Archived conversation, Fyodor Vasile. We're waiting on the data. Relax. Drop might be late, but it'll get there. What Netrunner put together the profiles? You ask. But I won't answer. A good one. The sort you paid for. You work with him before? With him? With her? It's a collective. They've checked out. We'll see about that at the border. Don't worry. You'll get through without a problem. With your humanitarian aid. That won't... Uh, they... That want aid? That won't aid anyone, really. Oh, I see. It'll aid our pockets. That's right. Eddie's baby. One white wolf says the drops are not now or never. Don't worry if you miss out on one. <clears throat> the loot is legendary, but random. Oh, I see. Thank you, one white wolf. Styx134 says which gangster group in any game is your favorite? Gangster group in any game? I guess I'd have to go with the gunners. They've got an interesting mil military structure. They seem far more disciplined than many of the other gangster groups we've stumbled upon. Sticks 134 gifted one Oxhorn membership. Thank you, Sticks. Okay, we've got inventory to get through now. Okay, we've got the double barrel shotgun. Uh, I didn't like the shotgun. We've got the submachine gun. Huh. Nope. Okay, I've got a tier 5 Ajax, but this is a tier 5 plus Pulsar. Better damage, better reload speed. No, better attack speed, better reload speed, slightly reduced damage. Considerably reduced effective range and reduced weapon handling. Interesting. Um, power pistol. Well, I'll take a look at that later when I crush her. That's worth worse than that. Let's disassemble this. Disassemble this. Now, hold on a minute. Better attack speed, worse damage. Better reload speed, worse range. Worse rep weapon handling. Another tier 5 plus. Ah... <sighs> 
Warden Smart Submachine Gun. Interesting. All right, let me get rid of all this old stuff. That revolver is interesting. Tech speed goes way down, though. Is that what I currently have? No, it's not. Fozar. Hmm. Wow, that goes way up. Tech speed goes way down, though. All right. I'll deal with all that later. Okay, we got the red smoke, we got the weapons, we got the drop. Let's go meet up in the car. Like Sometime later. Well, well, well. Before we go, Idris Elba. Apologies for the precautions. I only ever rest so much. Sometimes it's just safer to shove the barrel of a Malorian between a Chun's ribs, even if he is on your side. It's nothing personal. No hard feelings, I hope. No. No hard feelings. It's all good. Had to make sure I'd have done the same. Is that so? You're not in the biz, V. Our biz. <laughs> What gave me away? You got into a stranger's car. You're lucky I am who I claim to be. I mean, I didn't have a choice. I combed FIA data for info about you. Interesting profile. Snowman. Back at clan. No longer extent. Now a freelance merc. To make things more interesting, FIA agent. I received a commission last night. One thing eludes me. What drove you to get entangled in this mess? Loot! Um... We'll say Songbird. Songbird hired me. Know her? So me. Something up? We used to work together. I thought I heard the last about her, but... That girl's a magnet for trouble. Right. It's time we paid our friend in distress a visit. Address, please. Abandoned building on Crest Street, 8th floor. You left her alone in Dogtown? 
Myers can take care of herself. Not a damsel in distress. So her take charge. Yeah, me too. It's not a first rodeo. Survived a few assassination attempts. Real tough. But still. She is the president. Hold up. I need to take this. Why you calling me on my day off? Last night I heard, you're the manager. Ask Bob, he owes me a favor anyway. Yeah, well, tough nuts. You'd have to manage without me. Boss man, I work the door at a club. Selection, you know, bouncer. Huh, that your Lilo gig? A bouncer? It pays the bills and nets me a little disposable. Sleeper agents aren't entitled to the government pay. Not even under the table. Huh. This is not how I imagine spending my day off. Saving the president? Great action BD shit right there, am I right? Yeah, sure, I guess so. Is my eyes still smoke? I had a ciggy on a balcony this morning. Why you ask? When things start to spiral out of control, she's likely to light up. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's high time we help her out. Whoa, where are you going? <laughs> Come on, stay on the road. I look forward to exploring this town when I'm back on my gaming rig. I want to explore every nook and cranny of Dogtown. It looks like a fascinating little town. Interesting part of the city. One white wolf says Idris helped with the soundtrack as he's also a DJ. Oh, did he now? Okay. Is that what we're listening to right now? Is that your work? All right. So this is the place. Eighth floor. Yeah. Lead the way. God! Come on, man! Jeez! <laughs> Dude! This guy's just trying to murder us! Could you calm down, please? Which is fine. Where's he going now? Oh, there are some things about this game that have not changed. <laughs> oh, for all the improvements, it's good enough. <laughs> he's, just, he's just massacring this car. Stop manhandling it. Where are you even going? <laughs> be careful. Oh, me be careful. How about you be careful, you crazy nut? <laughs> Ah, God. It's getting side before they start shooting for some god no, unknown reason. All right, quick save, just in case. <sighs> Styx134 says, if a bunch of sea cows are laying in a half circle, is that how you get a humanity? Oh, a humanity? A humanity? Why? Why? Oh, hold on. Could act that satellite dish up there. Thank you, Sticks134. Don't mind us. Uh, we just came to move a piano. We're gonna take the left. There we go. Or not. No, we're not doing that. Okay. I mean, are we? Do we are doing that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it didn't show up until he got on. All right, so we're going to apartments. Honestly, this is not inspiring confidence. She's capable of taking care of herself, you know. I actually had uninvited guests last night. Ejected via the garbage chute. Sometimes that's the only way out. If 
If anyone had tried to extract her forcibly, this whole level would be in shambles. No way she would have gone quietly. Take point. Open up, it's me. Is this how you greet me? Uh... Sorry. Rosalind, are you all right? I'm good. Glad to see you are too. Remembered my number. Some numbers you never forget. Level with me, Rosalind. You never intended to call that line. Well, I found myself in Night City with a bounty on my head. So it seemed the right moment to reach out, have a tete a tete, reset an old friendship. What is their past? I'd offer to sit down and chat over coffee, but the clock's ticking. I need to arrange a passage for you to Washington. No, Reed. We need to talk first, all three of us. Here. The president, a merc, and a special agent walk into the Oval Office. Question is, where do I fit into this joke? You're the punchline. You've seen the news. Johnny? Uh huh. Hansen's spin work never fails to amuse. He's not acting purely on his own initiative. Someone from our camp's propping him up. So, the cast of Hawks squawking for war. For some, the war never ended. This shit runs deeper, Reed. I wasn't alone on that flight. I heard so me was on board. Where is she now? V was the last person to talk to her. Most likely scenario. Got caught in some ice in the combat bob when she hacked it. One little mishack. Happens even to the best, but no way to know for sure. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, we need hard evidence, not speculation. All right, they're just gonna go walk over to this window and- Reed, I needn't remind you what this means for the NUS's national security. Besides, she's your prodigy, Saul. You taught her all your tricks. Hell, even recruited her. She and V have a unique... Uh, bond. It's a lead. Our only one for now. You two have to find her. Together. I already died for the cause once. Not enough? What do you mean, already died? What has my eyes told you about me? Said you led an intelligence cell here. Went into hibernation at war's end. So she omitted the fact that Arasaka tried to smoke me. <clears throat> and that I ended up in intensive care with three bullet holes. That six months had passed before I could take a shit on my own. Huh. Cool. Might have slipped her mind. Convenient. Well, now you know. Wade Speakerman says, where do you go after a bad peekaboo accident? The ICU. The ICU. This is excellent timing. Okay, we could say, got a debt to pay Rosalind, or Songbird needs your help, Reed. Who are we going to convince here? Probably doesn't matter. It's work on the so Songbird angle. Look, every moment we spend pouting here, our chances of finding Somi alive drop hard. Barely know you, but you don't seem like a chum who'd leave their agent out to dry. She won't survive without backup. Don't know me well, but well enough, I guess. I wouldn't. I'm here. I'll help. But I'm doing it for Somi. And my country. Call me naive if you like. As for you, V. You said in the car a songbird hired you, correct? I don't know how much she's paying, but you better ask yourself 
Is it worth it? Mm -hmm. I mean, she said we couldn't die. Or she could fix the problem. Songbird's my only shot at surviving. Got Arasaka's relic in my head. Slowly, surely, poaching my brain. Seems we're all on the same page now, V. Which means we can help each other, too. Agreed. Think so, too. If we want to find Somi, we got to dig deep. I mean, actual reconnaissance. No stone unturned. We need contacts. Informers not afraid to sing, who might see something in it for themselves. You'll need to earn their trust. Rosh Mech on Twitch says, What kind of build is Oxhorn going for in this playthrough? Well, I'm kind of putting it together no. as Earth to V. As I go, um, I tried using a build when I started, and uh, it just confused me because so much in this game has changed since when I played it last. So I'm sort of just feeling my way through it. Big ask in Dogtown. Won't be easy. I need to arrange a safe passage to Washington for Myers. Expect my call soon, V. New hideout unlocked. Thanks. For everything. Buy me a nice dinner sometime. <laughs> You do this often? Invite presidents out on dates? Often enough. Okay. Dinner it'll be. Just gotta survive till then. All right, I need to make some calls. Dinner with Madame President, hell yeah. Okay, exit the building. Wardrobe. Okay, so this is the new hideout. Dance? Oh, yeah, the dancing never gets old. <laughs> uh, the dancing is just... <laughs> okay. I mean, it's not as bad as Shepard, I suppose. It's no Shepard Shuffle. One White Wolf says, The Phantom Liberty cinematic trailer shows Reed's incident with Arasaka. Oh, that's what it does. Okay, we've got a mirror there. Let's see if it actually works. There we go. It works. Even a hunk of glass in this warehouse is a high-tech digital mirror thing. if we weren't together. V, you'll go five minutes after we do. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, wait until Myers and Reed leave. Okay, let them go first, I guess. I was busy looking around. I missed my opportunity. So how do we get out of this little corner of paradise? Right, you guys go ahead. I'll catch up later. Okay, what do we got? What? Oh, that must have been from before. When we had to look around for um, a generator. That generator. So 
surprised Johnny's not popping out to talk to us now that we're alone. Okay, I think that's enough time. Should be able to take the lift. Julian Z says, Ox, have you gotten the relic points in this building? If you take the elevator all the way down to the street, it should take you right to it. Relic points. I don't think so. I'm not exactly sure. Let's go uh, figure that out. Sometime later. Now let's go to delivery tr and transport logistics promotion. Let's go to street level. Wait two days for Reed's phone call. Oh. And all the side gigs start pouring in. But this one is from Reed. Everything's smooth sailing so far, but the hardest part is around the bend. I'll buzz you as soon as we're out of Dogtown. And don't forget to watch your own back. Still got a lot of Hansen's patrols on the street. Found Grayson. Oh, that was from uh, way before. Invitation. Delivery. Take part in a clash of musical universes live on Earth Day. I believe we read that already. Yeah, we responded to that. No, we, we didn't respond to that. Okay, promotion. Use the delivery services of delivery transport and logistics to order a surprise gift for your loved one. Unique designs, personalized craftsmanship, and reliable home delivery. All at a bargain price. We could order a model vehicle or order a flower bouquet. Uh, don't think I want either of those. Smell the chews burn. What's this? Hello, V. If you're behind the wheel, then pull over. No texting and driving. Safety first. The name's Jim Jerry. Sound familiar? Most peeps associate the name with the sound of squealing tires and the smell of burnt rubber. I know all the best motor jocks in town, and let me tell you, most of them wouldn't hesitate to polish your hubcaps if you asked nicely. The city has seen firsthand how you handle yourself on the road, Chum. <laughs> I mean, no, it hasn't. <laughs> I haven't done very much driving. The talent, the flair, and the fire in those eyes. Oh, is that what you're calling it? Okay. That's what this sport is all about. I need to see you race again, V. Again and again and again. But if you won't race for your old pal, Jim, then do it for the sweet, sweet $10,000 and auto fixer discount awaiting you at the finish line. Coordinates are on the way. We could say you had me at burnt rubber, but uh, yeah, I think I'll wait to do a, a car race until I'm back on my other computer. Alt Grendel gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you, Alt Grendel. And congratulations to Donald Moore, Best Tudor, Sam Timothy, Strange Bear, and Grant Haber. Julian Z says Ox, the very bottom option on the elevator. Oh, okay. I'll try that. Christopher Lowe says the Grayson message is for Johnny's personal quest. I recommend it while you wait for Reed. I believe we've done that. So I'm picking up the game after having already completed it and beaten it before Phantom Liberty came out. Correct me if, if I'm wrong, but I think I did Johnny's personal quest. Relic points. Okay. 
<clears throat> so I had gone this way. One second. Vulnerability analytics. I think I purchased that one. Hitting vulnerabilities. Then we've got machine learning. Destroying an enemy's vulnerability grants a 10% frequency of new vulnerabilities appearing. 5% crit chance against vulnerabilities. Nice. I could double down on that. But then we've got emerging emergency cloaking. Oh, that's cool. Improves optical camo cyberware. But I don't know if I have optical camo cyberware installed. So, to get sensory protocol, I'd... Ha oh, that's sweet. Then we've got jailbreak. That's going to be for a melee build, which I am not. But uh, that's going to unlock a whole bunch of other stuff. Well, I think uh, it makes sense to go ahead and get this one. Machine learning. That is loud. One White Wolf says optical camo replaces your grenade slot. I see. Sounds like something I should probably do. Well, here we are. We got Dogtown to explore. I feel like I wouldn't do the city justice exploring it on this computer. What is this? Yes, that's it. Tracking me in Dogtown? No, no, not you, the car. This, I'll explain, but first, you gotta bring her to me. Flipping you the cords. Okay, flip me the cords. Move it, people. I don't want to run over. Innocent civilians. You're in the middle of the street. Come on now. Deliver the vehicle to the indicated location. Can do. Oh man, I am so bad at driving. Would it be better in first person? Oh, vehicle combat, oh man. They didn't have this implemented in the last time I played this. <clears throat> we did vehicle combat in the opening cinematic, basically the opening tutorial, and then never again for the rest of the game. Does that mean that they finally added it? Drawing your weapon while moving enables combat, allowing you to drive and shoot at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I don't have that kind of coordination. You can use two. You can use pistols and submachine guns while sitting behind the wheel. Shoot, hold, left click. By default, your aim will lock onto enemies automatically. Oh yay! Well, then maybe I can do this. The setting can be changed in the settings menu. Manual aim, hold, right click. Exit combat F. Oh dear God. <clears throat> One white wolf says if you do these optional deliver missions about eight times, you get the best car in the game for free. Yay! Awesome. Well, let's see what vehicle combat looks like. Oh dear God! Oh dear God! Oh, they're all like, they're all gonna come after me. Like, hard left, hard left, hard left. Uh, no! Palm trees! Why? Uh, oh. There we go. Okay, not so bad. I'm not in combat yet. 
Uh oh, I gotta pass these guys. There we go. Hard right coming up. Oh, this is intolerable. Hard right! No! What? Ow! Oh, what is that? Closed garage door? Where am I going? No! What is this? Oh! Okay. I'm alright. Am I leaving Dogtown? Is that what's going on? Oh, I am. Straight, straight, go straight. Don't hit the tent. No. Okay. Up we go. There we go. No oh, bad guys. Crap. Piss someone off. Kill the fucker myself. Yeah. How do I shoot again? God, try not to hit a freaking planter next time. Oh. Uh, hard right coming up. Hard right coming up. Here we go. Oh, I'm in a, I'm driving the wrong way. Of course I am. shoot i mean i know how to get out and shoot but how do i lean out and shoot one white wolf says press z to turn off your on foot radio you can tell it's on if you look out the bottom left of the screen that and if loud music is blasting out all right will do do this again. Right around. This way. No. Nope. Nope. Good. Through here. Just 
to get the garage and I went in the freaking back alley. Can you get in there? How do I get in there? Come on, let me in! How do I get in? Bull crap! Okay, let's try this again. It's open now, I see. It's closed when people are chasing me. Fuck. What shit for brains gonk called this a proper ignition? Fucking useless scrap. Now it says, take the vehicle. I had to deliver it here, right? Now it says, take the vehicle. Okay. Why? Why? Deliver the vehicle to the location. I'm at the location. There we go. <laughs> I had to scoot a little forward. There we go. Talk to El Capitan. Oh. V, you scan this motherfucker? Gonked again. Prime looking, but useless. At least with you, it's the other way around. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Relax, just teasing, man. Anyway, come on. If I wanted my dick wet, I wouldn't stand out in the rain. Ew! This one's stolen, too. Stolen? V. Look at this guy. You are breaking my heart. I love his haircut. Give it to me straight, Cap. The wheels. What's your scheme? Got a need for speed, huh? Yeah, me too. But first, I'm not gonna hit you. The car you brought's looking a little worse for wear. Every scratch is a loss, you feel me? Two, I'm selling them. Three, Dogtown's full of chances, and chances are what I like. Four, you called it a scheme? And I prefer to call it a, a creative license. Wanted to ask about those speed bumps I ran into. Ah, uh, Sixth Street? Just a little biz disagreement. Better get used to bumps like that if you want to work with me. Right. What's this creative endeavor need from me? Gonna need you ready to grab some easy ads. Listen. I got, like, a gift. A sixth sense. I can tell when a ride's bored. Needs a change of hands. Sometimes I hear him calling over in Dogtown. Sometimes in Night City. Right. And this sixth sense tells you to tell me to bring him to this chop shop? Ooh, chop shop. Uh, please. But, yeah. You rein in the wheels, you rake in the ads. Of course. It's all part of a larger plan. Oh. Well, well. 
Picked up a tail, huh? Hmm. Could shoot him up. Just one measly cop Relax. car. We're in my hood. Let's see what they want. Talk through it, smooth talker. NCPD asshole. You got a license and a ridge for them ugly mugs? I don't fucking believe this. Daniels, the fuck, man? You take a fucking squad car to pick up a clipped ride in uniform? Not the only one on his home turf, mama. Hey, Naberville Fort Alvarado for the top brass, too. I'll get the gear for our little plan. Hold the phone. El Cap handing out bribes? <laughs> I'm shocked. Shocked. <laughs> there an honest cop left in this city? There is. But they lay low. Don't got that fire in their eyes, you know? Cream, thanks for the cred. Cars, deets, and docks are on their way. <clears throat> Glad we didn't start shooting. You see? It's just biz. Come on, rain stopped. Rashmek says, unless you've changed buttons, you press Alt to take out your weapon. Only works okay, with you pistols just met and submachine guns. So, in on the gig? Gotcha, thank you. What's this plan you and Daniels mentioned? Hmm, you drive for me, and you find out. In due time. So, you taking the gig or not? Always driving somewhere. Might as well pick up some scratch on the way. You gonna make it worth my while? Come on, man. With El Capitan, your future's looking bright. I fix you your gigs, your fancy payouts, nothing but upsides. Counting on it. Sure, sure. Let's see what tomorrow brings. El Capitan will be in contact. Thank you, El Capitan. Vehicle contracts. Mumar will now send your uh, you, uh, send you coordinates for nearby vehicle co uh, contracts. These are marked with a steering wheel icon. Once you have the target vehicle, the fixer will tell you where to deliver it. In order to complete the delivery, you'll need to lose all pursuers first. Ah, you could have told me that before, before I got in the car. And don't hesitate to accept the contract. The vehicle will disappear if you wait too long. But if that does happen, Mumar will send out another contract. Uh after some time has passed. Okay. What what a unique hairstyle. Uh, that guy's got a very unique profile. Love it. All right, push it to the limit. Now, let's see. Can I uh, go to journal? Wait two days for Reed's phone call. Is he ready? I thought I saw... Okay, look for extra gigs in Dogtown. I think I just did an extra gig. Let's wait two days. Two days. It's a long time. How do I get back to Dogtown? I'm out of Dogtown now, aren't I? Oh. Am I in? Yeah, there's my apartment. There's another apartment. Well, you've, we've got more apartments now? There's the Dogtown Gate. All right, so I need to get back there. Oh, I don't think I want to do any more of those gigs. Hey, there's another tarot card. And it's pretty close to us. Stop, 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 thank you. Jeez. My bike. My poor bike. I just want to hear the yes, no song. All 
I forget which channel it was on. How am I going to get over there? Is it behind this gate? I'm going to quick save right here. I'm on the walk of shame, but I feel no shame. It's on Body Heat Radio, says chat. Okay, well, I got it. But, uh, which one was it? I couldn't even see it. Was it this one? King of Cups? I think it was on the other side of the wall. One White Wolf says you can use the skip time feature in the menu. I may just do that. Okay. Skip time. Uh, wait, 13 hours. Wait. 24 hours. Ah, shit. Oh, and I got a relic malfunction. Well, could have picked a worse time, I suppose. <clears throat> Let's do another time skip. Is this feature new? I don't remember this. delivery all good no delays shipped first leg by sea then by air civilian craft both but it got to its destination fast and undamaged any developments here my status no real change I suppose then it's time we got down to work gotta find our missing friend had another pair of eyes Alex former team member She's in Dogtown, under deep cover. She'll help out. Roger that. Got an address? Longshore Stacks, a dive bar called the Moth. After sundown, yeah? Got it. And senses trained on any potential shadows. Right. Dive bar called the Moth. Well, I'm not sure how I... Got stuck in here. We gotta get unstuck. Oh! Oh! Nope, that didn't work. Oh! Nope. Come on. Can't get up there? There we go. Okay. We're okay. Come 
Gotta get back to my chopper. Setting the dog down, don't mind me. can see you. Moth say you. I guess this is the moth bar. Ah! Okay, and we're back. Now let's go to the moth bar. There it is, the moth. I don't think I recognize you on the street today. <laughs> Your room's exactly the way you left it. Just as messy as the day you disappeared. <laughs> I ain't your criada, boy. Oh, clean it when you come back. And I'll introduce you to Sofia, her baclava. Oh, man. You just have to try it. So much catching up to do. It's been ten years. Was it in that moment? Poor guy. That's so sad. All right, Moth Bar. Let's go. If you want my advice, I dump that pile of human offal. See how he likes being alone. Yeah, maybe you're right. Anyway, better get going. Take care. Chin up, sweet kids. Seeing sunshine round the bend. 
Just don't you let those bastards walk over you. I would like what a double. Be, honey buns? Beer, soft drink, surprise me. Nothing. Let's, let's just surprise me. Surprise me. Adventurous. How special coming up. All right. What's the house special? Hey, Pete, you at the bar? Sure am. Waiting for you. I'll be there momentarily. There's, uh, one thing you should know. Okay. What did that be? You know that op seven years back that went south? Well, my eyes left me for dead. Cover story was I sold out to Arasaka. I never told Alex it was a cover. Ooh. So, things could get tense. Oh, dear. You and Alex, two of you were close. I let our cell in the NC was a handler. She wound up stuck here in Dogtown post-war. Thinks it was because I turned coat. Do you see what I'm driving at? <laughs> yeah, that could be awkward. Mentioning this sooner never entered your mind. Truly, Reed? Damn it. I'm mentioning it now. I'm nearing the entrance. I gotta get my house special, though. What is and it? And there you are. Ooh. Enjoy, honey bunch. That looks good. Thanks. Can I drink it? First time in here. I got that right? You new to Dogtown? <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> yeah. This is my buddy. Thanks for the house special. I'm looking for an Alex. Like fuck you are. So she's You're not here. Awfully short list of folks we just don't serve here. Turn the fuck around and get out. I have a gin and tonic. Make it a double. I want another drink. Can I sip my drink? He's with me. Yep, we're together. Try the house special. It's you great. You got some balls. More drink, less balls, please. All right, please. my people. We gotta close up for the day. I ain't going fucking anywhere. Uh oh. Come on. You serious? Uh oh. I just want to drink my drink. It's right there. Can I drink my drink? I want to drink it. Oh man. Everyone out. Now. Drink. I want to drink it. <laughs> Alex. Seven! Seven fucking years in this shithole! Cause of you, Solomon Reed! Yeah. Ooh. Holy. Sol ain't getting it. Maybe you will. V, the coin. Myers sent us. Got a mission in Dogtown. With him? FYI, seven years ago, this scumbag stabbed everybody in the back. No, seven years ago, I was ordered to go to ground. And you were fed a cover story. I had to take the fall. There was no other way. Expect me to believe you? Just like that? Get the fuck out of my sight, both of you. Look, whatever happened between you two is none of my biz. Got direct orders from the president. Right now, that's all you need to care about. I cared. Cared for seven years. But now? It's all right. Take a moment. <laughs> Take all the time you need. Fuck this. Need a smoke. I, I want to drink my drink. I only took one sip. Should be fucking ashamed, Saul. Well, oh, that could have gone better. You all right there? The hell was that? Did, did she just shapeshift? Metatropic cloaking. Perks of the FIA Militech connection. You get to call dibs on their latest gen, cutting edge tech. Could get tense, he said. Yeah. Yeah. Just a bit. 
Let me try this. Give me a minute. <laughs> Time You're to smooth talk. Doctor. Someone's gotta, and better me than you. All right. Hopefully, I've specked enough into cool, be able to talk her down a little bit. Ooh, what's back here? Just the kitchen. All right. Focus. Focus. Focus on the mission. Couldn't wait till I was done. I'm V, by the way. <sighs> Alex. <laughs> so NUSA is tossing us back into the fray, huh? New mission? Yeah, afraid so. Well, fire away. Serenade me. Okay. You, right now. Am I looking at the real Alex? What's it to you? I mean, what's the diff? Nobody who's anybody cares about the real Alex. What if I do? Then it's solely your problem. Now, about the mission. Spill. FIA agent went missing. Reed and I are tasked with finding her. And all of a sudden, FIA remembers I exist. You know Dogtown better than any other operative in their ranks. Their ranks? So you're not FIA. Curious. <sighs> what leverage they had on you. Deal's just for this one op, then I'm out. <laughs> Wouldn't count on brevity. Me? One in the same mission for the last seven fucking years. Uh oh Been working the local arms and tech dealers since the war. My one op, that. Going real swell. Well, I got less time than that. Always starts the same way. Do them a favor, they promise one in return. Sometimes even deliver. Then one day, they nail your dick to the wall. Ouch. This op mean that much to you? Because you're clearly hoping to get something out of it. Question is what? Survival. Woman we're after is offering something that could help me. Just gotta find her first. And by coincidence, Myers also wants her. Who the hell is this bimbo? Songbird. Oh, fuck me. Gonna take more than one sig to process that. Uh. She on that short list of peeps you don't serve here too? Never told you the whole story, did he? Nope. What story? Story of a clusterfuck op. One that led to Reed disappearing and me being holed up here for seven years. Here's the list of operatives. Reed, Songbird, and me. Haven't heard this, have you? <laughs> That's just perfect. Tell me you believe in coincidences? Or, fuck it, fate? Cause plug the same variables into an equation and surprise, gonna get the same fucking result. Shit in, shit out. <sighs> well, you and that hangdog Judas are in luck. Cause I got a nasty habit of repeating the same gonk mistakes. Convenient. Got conditions though. You in a position to have any? Still on their payroll. Don't care. Tell Saul I'm done letting everyone walk all over me, expecting me to lick their boots. Way I see it, this is a favor I'm doing, a transaction. Want my back scratched in return. So what's your ask? 
Monaco. Want to burn rubber along the Riviera? Drink champagne on a yacht with a fucking duchess. <laughs> Want right. a spy's retirement? Diplomatic posting in a warm, gobsmackingly gorgeous place where fruit off the trees is sweet and demand for field work is zero. Think you can manage that? I mean, isn't that everyone's dream? Sure, why not? Reed will take you to Monte Carlo himself if that's what you want. Preem. Go back inside. Tell him I'm in. Well, hopefully we can... Gonna uh... need more nicotine before I look at his face again. Thanks, Alex. Okay, hopefully we can fulfill the bargain there. We kind of just promised her a lush retirement. Hopefully we can deliver. So? Let's see. She's in. Just wants a spy's nice retirement in return. Don't we all? Can't say I blame her. Uh-oh. So, heard you need someone to hold your hand, Reed. Take you on a tour of NC's asswart. I came to you because I trust you, Alex. If you say so. Fine. Songbird. Heard we got a sniffer out. Song's MIA. Probably here in Dogtown. We were linked, comms like. Song ventured into cyberspace, then got attacked. She vanished just after. That's all we know. We need a net runner. Kind who of spends all their waking hours parsing teraflops of data. Might have caught something. You have someone in mind? Wilkie Slider Laguerre. I should have figured. That was Went a great animation, by the way. But I know where that little rat nests. That drink pouring animation? There was so much detail in there. I love that. Slider. Care to fill me in? Renegade voodoo boy, murderer turned CI, all around piece of shit. Outside the net, he's blinder than three mice. Damaged occipital lobe. Not even a Kuroshi could mend it. How's an intel agency lose a blind man? Hold himself up with Haitian buddies. Operates a large-scale tech and demon mill. Think Kabuki's home to Night City's soft sorcerers? <laughs> no. They're just there to push product. Claim Slider dropped off your radar, went rogue. But you know where he is. Why haven't you brought him in? I don't know. Maybe I was saving him for a rainy fucking day. Slider wasn't on my list of prios. Not like it's any of your biz. Think this guy will be willing to help? Slider? Don't hold your breath. Classic repeat offender, no scruples or principles. Had a titty twist him to work for us. Likely this time you'll just have to twist a little harder. So, we paying him a visit? Slider hides out in a would-be spa in Luxor Heights. Flick you exact chords in two sex. We'll rendezvous there. Alex and I have some, uh, catching up to do. <laughs> right. Just, uh, don't gouge each other's eyes out. Need both of you alive and healthy. Okay, Luxor Heights. You two be good. So, all those years, where you been? Involved with someone? I was, for a time. It didn't pan out though. You? You know me. No poor bastard would have put up with me longer in a month. Come on, stop pretending you would have lasted any longer. Got numerous hobbies, sue me. Speaking of which, if I know you at all, you ain't dunking and swishing balls anymore, am I right? Only in my neck of the woods. 
You know how it is. Yeah. Okay, we'll Surprised let them. You didn't pack up. Go home. Used to go on and on about those fucking tacos. I couldn't have gone home even if I wanted to. <laughs> As to what kept me here, must have been something. Which begs the question, Reed. What about me? Why couldn't I go home? The only way FIA agents left Night City was in body bags. Not you? No. No, there was a bag with my name on it. Definitely. Just dumb luck that I'm sitting here in one piece. You never believed in coincidence. Still don't. You're right. I don't. Right. We'll let them reminisce. See that tree there? Oh, that tree. No columbarium in Dogtown last time I checked. People gotta have some place to pay their respects. Problem with that is the dead don't give a fuck about flowers and lit candles. They're fucking dead. because nobody ever lit a candle for you. Shit, maybe I am as sentimental as everyone else. When I see those two, Reed, Alex, went through something similar myself. Johnny Silverhand, empathizing with total randos. See it clear as day. Any shred of friendship they've got left will fizzle out. Not right now, but soon. Could have spilled the truth years ago, stayed tuned. But no, stubborn old Reed had his orders. Not mutually exclusive, friendship and duty. Matter of fact, they are. Had good reasons to fly the army coop. Think, how many times you willing to get burned before you stop trusting someone? There are points to all this? Replace someone with country or corp. How many times you gotta take a bullet for these motherfuckers in the name of empty promises? Chew on that when you look at those two. Mm. Well, thank you for the lesson, Johnny. Full of that old world wisdom. Right. We need to meet Reed near Slider's hideout. Ain't nothing without your help. Check out Ronald's Reeves then. Oh, the music. Just get some peace and quiet for once. There's so much noise in this game. Just another one. I I don't know. I don't want to. I feel like. This, this entire game is me. Ah! Crap. Did I fall? Is that me? What happened? I didn't fall. I tripped. I guess I tripped. I feel like this entire game is me tracking down a bunch of red smoke. I don't want to do that the entire time.
There it is. an interesting building. I wonder what that is. It's made of poker cards. Relic? Dude just ran into my motorcycle. Whoa! Ah, sorry. Holy shit. Ah. Oh. Crap! Stuck in an ab animation. Okay, relic point acquired. Don't leave me here. Okay. Well, we need to go up. Hold on, we got loot. Loot, 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 loot. We're getting through so many guys in our way. Voodoo. Okay, and here we wait. You haven't been waiting long, I hope. Well, guess you and Alex needed a while to catch up. Hmm, yeah. All swell now, though. Let's go. Time's at a premium.
They posted lookouts. Go figure. Oh, great. I doubt they'll play nice and just let us in. Gotta be another way in. Let's look around. I spotted the shaft on our way in. We we'll just need to find a vent, crawl through to the other side, and open the door. I'll hang back on lookout, cover you if need be. Oh, great, a shaft, huh? Sure. Locate the shaft. See a door. Ventilation system might be behind it. It's worth a try. But I can't force it open. through. Thanks. Hey. Up. Oh, don't want to get caught there. No! No! Oh shit. Me kisa sa yo. Yo go gara. Blocked. So much for that. Oh. Oh, I'm in. They're re up in combat, ah. demon. Cool it, Ben. Take them out. Give it for Oh, what? Oh. Sorry, I accidentally somehow. Moved my <clears throat> my game screen. Oh. Oh, I got nowhere to run. Oh. Oh. Lay low, B. Taking some heat there. Oh. Taking some heat there. Right, well, that didn't go according to plan. So I'm trying to get through the event. And I just fell, fell through it. I wonder if I can avoid doing that. What? 
Oh. Move. You're in my way. Oh, it's scripted. It's oh, shit. scripted. made a big fucking mistake. Service cooling down. Port's wide open. Taking some heat there. Focus fire on the open vent. God damn it. How many of them are there? says the red line means you're being hacked and taking damage. Yeah, I figured something like that was going on, but I couldn't, I couldn't, I kept on looking to try and see what I could hack to prevent that.
Well, I mean, I don't want to get dumped in that room again. But it's scripted. Oh, shit. It's on me through doors. You we got nowhere to run. We're almost up. They're re up in combat, demon. Cool oh. effect. Take them out. Fence. They're done for. What the heck? Yeah. I gotta, I gotta rush in here, or <laughs> not doing so hot, B. Service cooling down. Ports wide open. You made a big fucking mistake. Open vents. They're done for. That's what I'm talking about. Those? I to the turret. I'm out oh. Sheriff's cooling down. Port. Right open. Not bad. Not bad. Oh! And I, I go from full health to completely dead. Well, that's really annoying. Uh... Tally says the vent is a trap and it can be disarmed if you don't fall through. Oh. Okay. I'll try that. I don't understand the vents, though. Like, in order to, to stop being hacked myself, I have to hack some vents. Huh. Trap door. Okay. Here we go. Disarmed. That was close. Okay. Thank you.
Easy now. No call on attention. Okay, well, disarming the trap certainly made it easier. Find slider. <laughs> I'm not sure how I managed that, but I did. Server cooling node. Those what? Uh, those are what were attacking me before. Is that what I got to do? I mean, it says I just have to find slider. Case the demon. I did it. Server. We need to destroy it. Aim for the source port. We're almost home now. That's what I'm talking about. wide open. Reload! 
Reloaded! You made a big fucking mistake! Did I finally do it? Jeez. Oh, okay. Well, that was annoying as hell. Archived conversation. Island Robic Chowden Sylvie Patton. Tell me, do we wear bell bottom jeans and flowers in our hair? No? Then why do we act like a stinking hippie commune? I hear Slider gave you access to our storage space in Eventide. It's a gesture of trust. Keeping up appearances, yeah? One VB DB for all. All for one, etc. It's all about appearances, you get it? Nothing about us without without us, and one VDB for all, all for one, etc. I have another question. Why are we all voodoo boys and not voodoo girls, hmm? Don't change the subject. Tell your LH chooms we may share storage, but if they want to borrow anything, they ask first. If Slider actually trusts you, he's either blind or stupid. I mean, he is blind, though. Okay, now I'm doing a big loop. Well, we made a mess of things. And I guess that's where we go now. Alt Grendel says... Lassard says that the silencer on your assault rifle prevents it from giving max damage. Oh yeah, I imagine it does. Order. Synapse burnout, 340. Short circuit overclocked, 110. Cyberware malfunction, times 50. Weapon glitch, times 50. Reboot optics, 25. AGWE special order. choice when they opened up at us. Wilkie Laguerre, medical assessment, patient report named Wilkie Laguerre, age 39, occupation netrunner, examination financed by private funds, no insurance data available, patient has suffered severe damage to occipital lobe, mo most likely as a result of a targeted netrunner attack. Preliminary examination indicates that the damage is inoperable, and loss of vision is likely irreversible, even in light of technological advancements in the field of ophthalmic surgery and cyberware. Patient condition, complete blindness, mobility difficulties due to altered perception, hallucinations, and epileptic seizures. Patient refuses to undergo rehabilitation and checks himself out immediately against the advice of the attending physician. And this is the guy we're about to meet. <laughs> Fuck. 
me, Solomon Reed. I would be lying if I said I have missed you. And you? You brought death to Mama Bridget. <laughs> Will that be your gift for me as well? Heard about me? How? Me, my temple. We are one. My eyes and ears are everywhere. This isn't a temple. It's a malicious demon mill. And you're no priest. You're a two-bit bandit and murderer. Murderer? Ha! It takes one to know one. So, what will it be? Will you put me down like you did that bitch, Bridget? Here to make a deal, nothing more. A deal? Let me guess. An empty promise and a bullet to the brain when you decide I am of no use to you. That kind of deal. I knew poor souls who tried to strike a deal with Solomon Reed. Remember them, Agent Reed? If one party is backed into a corner, it is not negotiation. It is extortion. You say tomato, I say fucking deal with its lighter. Now, cut the shit and do us the courtesy of hearing us out. No love loss between you two, huh? Those who speak to Reed have a strange habit of vanishing or committing suicide. But since you are partners, you must know that by now. Speak your piece. <clears throat> the magic cue on uh, YouTube says... I am Alias. I got my plushy ox. It looks awesome. Sadly, X won't let me post a picture for some reason, but it's here. Thank you, Oxhorn. You're welcome, the magic cue, and thank you. Glad you got your plush, and I'm glad you love it. Plane crash in Dogtown. Heard about it? Plane? <laughs> you mean the Space Force One. Everyone here about that. Need your help locating someone who was on board. And I would surely oblige. Were I not blind, wheelchair bound, and do not give zero fucks about that or you. Come on, stop pretending like you got a choice. Donk, Dim, sir. What specifically do you want from me? Just like that? No haggling? I already know this score. They lang me, man. Send a clear message. Soon after SF-1 crashed, a runner was attacked while on the net. Attack severed our link. Need to locate her stat. Ah. So you want one to investigate net traffic on the day of the crash? Got a malfunctioning relic in my skull. That's how she made contact. That help any? Hmm. Perhaps. I will need a peek at this trinket in your head. No, nah, no chance, Slider. It is this or nothing. You choose. Oh, I don't like it. I just killed all this guy's men. And now I'm gonna let him jack into my brain? <laughs> I don't like it. I can't see. Are we waiting for someone, or just scratching our balls? Can it be both? Keep your eyes on him, Reed. I am blind, not deaf. Oh. Let us see what we have here. I see traces, bursts of data in cyberspace the wake of someone's passage. Johnny? You all right? Who dare they mad? This I do not believe. You out of your mind coming to me with this shit. 
Nothing slight, it just happened on you hanging out in my head. No, this is something else. What you see? The black wall. It bring only death. Specific, Slider. The woman. Did you know she used the black wall protocol to connect with you? Nope. Can't say I'm surprised, though. Foot. Do you know what it is you bring me? Enlighten us. How to explain to layman? The net has layers, various vectors for translocation. But there is one thing that must not be touched. The black wall. The woman? She is walking, ticking bomb, megatons. She go boom, everybody fucked in the ass. Every last one. Sounds painful. Miwa Noir. It is a dam that protects us, the civilized world, from the strange bets of the cyber wilderness. If your two leg bomb crack the dam down the middle, it will unleash a flood. Wipe us off the map, just like Haiti. That why you and the Pacific of Voodoo's don't see eye to eye? Because they're poking holes in the black wall? They do not penetrate. Only jerk off next to it. <laughs> and watch try to keep them in check. But you have to be caught in the first place to want to stick your gigit into a live wire outlet. I think I know what that is. To the AIs, past the black wall, you are no more than a cockroach, a rabbit, a fragment of outdated code with no meaning. This why Netwatch flatline any who put integrity a black wall at risk. It's no laughing matter, my friend. It is a concern for the safety of all. That's why you, my friend, need to restore V's connection to our girl. You are out of your mind. Well, now you're part of this madness, too. Welcome to the shit show. More D. Non-negotiable, Slider. We need to find her. Besides, as long as she's out there, they catch her scent, they catch yours now, too. They'll sit their wirehead freaks on to you and your people. So, you'll help me clean this up, cover all tracks, snip any threads leading back to you and consequently us. Do that, and we'll be square. You'll be off the FIA's hook, too. <sighs> Meld, it's my lucky day. Done anything like this before? What? Be the bridge between hosts using the Blackwall protocol? What the fuck do you think, eh? <laughs> confirm the data transfer before I change my mind. Ah, right, looks like we gotta confirm this. Here we go. Listen, babe. 
Don't have much time. Hansen's people tracked me down after I arrested the Chimera. I've been... detained. I'm not in any danger. Not as long as I behave. Do what I'm told. I need to do what I'm told. Something's not right, Are you okay? man. Oh no! Let her! Black Sapphire Man. Hanson's hosting a huge shindig there. Crash it on the sly. I'll find you. Make sure to tell Rain. Party! Jack him out, Reed! Unplug Slider! Now! Did we save him? Is he dead? Oh no. It's over. He short circuit. Oh no. Slider. He flatlined because of us. Flatline, period. Need you to come clean. Were you gonna off him no matter what? Questions moot. Slide is dead. What's done is done. That's <laughs> Johnny's just shaking his so, head. So, Songbird, what's up with her? Got the link back up. We spoke. She's fine, mostly. Needs our help, but she's fine. In one piece. All right. Give me the deets later. Come on, let's delve her out of here. Could be more of Slider's lackeys looking around. Take it easy, Slider. Oh, man. I feel so guilty. But he is a murderer, I guess. Not really a good guy. But still. What a cool segment that was. That was really well done. I wish I had seen it on my better computer. <laughs> Oh, don't tell me we got more goons. I got it. All right, I'm going to quick save. All right, you don't want me using that because it's got a silencer on it. All right, I'll use this. Wow, crap. Wasn't there a way out, like a, a vent? No, it was over here. Let me go through this again. Find that toy at corner. What did Songbird tell you?
She's tapped into the block wall. Didn't deny it. No big thing. Kinda. We need to find her. Fast. Did she drop any coordinates? Song needs our help, Reed. Hansen's nabbed her. Holding her. For... reasons. God damn it. I can't imagine any worse news than that. Black Sapphire. Said Hansen's throwing a big bash there. We get in, she'll find us. Any idea what and where the sapphire is? Over there. See the tall of the two scrapers? Next to the one with the big-ass screen. That's the Black Sapphire. A would-be hotel ended up a failed multi-billion eddy investment. Hence, as fortress, smack in the middle of Dogtown. We can't just barge in. Doubt we have anyone on the inside or affiliated who could crack open a door, either. Alex and I will pull some strings, run our contacts. We do the same. You know, think of who you know around here. Maybe what will happen on an idea, find a way. No local fixer. Goes by Mr. Hands. Could ring him. Do it. We'll be in touch. I gotta crash the party. Guess we're gonna call Mr. Hands. Hands, need a favor. Straight to biz. I like it. Aiming to go to an upcoming shindig at the Black Sapphire. Lusting to dance with the devil. V, the place is inaccessible and treacherous in equal parts. You cannot simply walk in uninvited as opposed to, say, Conpecky Plaza. Surely there's some way in. <sighs> Very well, I'll be frank. A handwritten invitation, unachievable, but I can work something out. I'll need a favor in return, though. Reputation is a currency. Its value derives from collective faith. It fluctuates. Do you understand me? Yeah, I see what you're driving at. Want me to help you earn a little rep? Precisely. Complete a few gigs for me, give my reputation in Dogtown a shot in the butt cheek, the Black Sapphire plans will be yours. Think you can make this a quickie? It's I window I'm working with. If you want a smooth deal, the cogs must be greased. Bring me grease, V. Ew. Can't just bribe someone? Money. So pedestrian when you think about it. Reputation, information, favors. These are worth their weight in gold. Heavier even than their owner's hearts. Alas, none remain for purchase at the Black Sapphire. Hansen had all the weak of heart purged using a lighter element. Lead. All right, Hans. Got yourself a deal. I'm oh so glad. Alviderzane. <laughs> Alviderzane, he says. Okay, well... Complete at least three gigs for Mr. Hands. And it looks like we've got quite a few gigs available for us. Let's see. Um, gig. Uh, Mr. Hands. Nope, that's his bio. Okay, so this is a gig from Mr. Hands. Prototype in the scraper, waiting for Dodger, treating symptoms, and that's not from Mr. Hands. Wait, that is. Dogtown Saints. Okay, so I've got four different gigs that I could do from Mr. Hands. Anything else? Okay. Well, folks, I'm going to actually end a bit early today. We're going to do a new save here. And there we go. 
Uh, I'm a little early, I understand, but uh, I've got some things I need to do today, and I am really enjoying Phantom Liberty, but I feel like I would thoroughly enjoy it more if I was playing on my better computer, and I think that once I get the parts in hand, I'll be able to get this thing up and running. Um, the hitchiness, the low resolution, Dogtown is such a dense and lushly decorated place, and I really want to enjoy it, so I'm going to... Uh, hope that this time next week I'll have the new computer up and running so that we can all enjoy Dogtown a little more. So that's going to be the plan. For the rest of this week, however, uh, I do plan to continue with Baldur's Gate 3 on Wednesday, whether or not I get my um, gaming computer up and running, because we have been able to get it to work just fine on my editing rig. And uh, Thursday, Scotch and Smoke Rings is on schedule, so we'll continue plans for uh, Poppy Playtime 3 on Thursday. Then I'm going to get to work on my lore video for the weekend, and that will be it. Thanks, everybody, for coming to today's Monday broadcast of Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty. Hope you've been enjoying the DLC as much as I have. I know I've got a lot of inventory management and character uh, building to work on for my character so that I can optimize my playthrough here, and maybe I'll do that off camera so that next week I'm in better form. Anyway, that's the plan. Have a wonderful rest of your... Uh, Monday, and I'll see you soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye now.